Okay, last three minute game for today. I've had some nice odd games just recently. So let's just bring this bishop here. Let's push here. Let's attack the bishop. Doesn't want to play castle. X ray through to the queen. Attack the bishop. Attack the bishop again. Captures opening up space in front of the king. I've not seen that for a while. And it does work if you know if you know how to use it, it can to be to your benefit because all this space is opened up around your king. So I'm going to attack the knight. He does capture. Because then the queen just comes down and gets like a draw or something. So it goes here, where does my king go? Oh he's not actually gone there. And do, do, do. oops, it is. He's got a two on one on that pawn anyway, hasn't he? So we may as well push the pawn, and that opens up space in front of his king. What's the knight doing? Let's attack his queen. Got to drop here because the knight's going to come back around and attack if he goes there. Queen's move, so oh, he's got to check on. Damn, didn't <laughs> all that time. But the problem he's got is that doing that is losing the queen. Uh, nice bit of focus in. Like I said, I've mentioned before, you know, you can take these pawns, you know, with the bishops and the knights because it opens up space around the king. I think they probably would have been better bringing the queen here, putting a check on, and it probably would have ended up being a draw because I might not have found a way to get my king out. Um, but there are ways and means of winning that way if you're brave enough. So, yeah, got to be mindful of those sort of um, situations. But on the whole, we found half decent position to survive and put enough pressure on the opponent to actually give up their queen. That's the whole idea. Either get them to capitulate or swarm their king and win by checkmate of some sort.